and it was hard like kind of setting boundaries with them because no entendían. <laughs> everyone and welcome to episode 9. I am your host Alanized and this is Noche de Pendejadas. For all of you guys that don't know what Noche de Pendejadas in, listen up because I'm about to let you guys know. Noche de Pendejadas is a weekly episodic show that premieres every Wednesday at 7 p.m. where I go ahead and bring your favorite influencers to chismear, have some cocktails and see what the fuck they've been up to. So si tú quieres ver a tu influencer favorito, hazme un favor pendeja y comenta their username down below. Last week we had a really special guest, Adam Ray OK, y esta semana I have someone just as exciting. Please help me welcome tonight's guest, all the way from Arizona, Lizeth Ramirez! Hi, Hello. thanks so much for having me. Thank you so much for coming, you guys. Para ustedes que no saben, Lizeth lives in Arizona. I'm always down. She literally like booked a flight. You flew in last night, right? Yeah. Or this morning? Last no, night. last night. Last and then night. Seba, or you guys. So it was like a really quick trip. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Para decirles, you guys, que este trip le está saliendo caro because just getting to my house. I'm send you the invoice. Yeah, no, I literally was <laughs> like, girl, invoice me because getting to my house, she literally got a freaking ticket. I thought it was a cop, so I got scared. We don't have street walkers. Oh, you don't? It, it, that's what oh, it's called, right? Street, oh, I'm like, walkers. Oh, no walkers. one's walking. <laughs> <laughs> the street sweepers. We don't have that. Really? So I got scared. Like, the, I don't know. You, you know, know what's funny, though? A lot of people. People, even in California, like my sister lives in uh -huh. um, Hemet, which is like an hour away from here. And surprisingly, dice que ella ya en su ciudad no tienen street really? sweepers. And I'm like, how do you keep your yeah. street clean? So what, like, is your street uh -huh. dirty? Ah, what am I? <laughs> no, dude, I, thought, I, was, I got scared because I was like, I was thinking like the migra, like, ah, like, like <laughs> I was like, 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 she's like, let's go, let's go. She's like, esta pinche trip no está saliendo caro, you guys. But it was funny because when she told me she was here, Irma went to go get her, and then Irma's mm. like, she got a ticket, which is so funny because you're not the first person that's gotten a ticket. The coming to do the show? Coming to do the show. This is what, the third time? It's funny because I know the street sweeper uh -huh. like, comes on Tuesday, but for some reason, we always film on Tuesday. Mm. Y siempre les digo a todos, like, oh, que se metan yeah. hasta adentro, but uh -huh. I thought you were coming in an Uber, so I was like, oh, I don't even have oh, to tell yeah, her. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> We got a rental car. Yeah. I'm like, girl, I'm like, now I'm like, now I'm like, don't really invoice me. Actually. I'm like, actually, it goes I'm, like, bankrupt. I'm like, just for the show, I'm like, at least get your content, please. So for those of you guys that don't know Lizette, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to her. Para que ella les diga quién es y qué hace. So my name is Lizeth. For those of you that don't know me, I'm kind of all over the place. I do, I started off doing YouTube, but now I do TikToks. I'm on TikTok a lot. I do TikToks. Instagram, pretty much everything. And I'm also a mom. I have a seven month old. So now I'm doing a lot of mommy content. I have um, a couples channel too. So we do couples content on there as well. So I'm just kind of all over the place. I saw you I was just like, I saw you before and you were stuck up. It was my first event that I had ever gone to. It was the Vanity Impressions. Oh, impression. Wait, did we say hi to each other? Or no? I, I was think, it the one I think we no might OC? have. I think we might have, you guys, because I remember. But I, I think I was scared. I was like, oh. Was it the like, one where I was on the wall or the one where I wasn't on the wall? Um, it was like, so long ago. She's like, I don't know, bitch. I don't remember. It was so long ago, but I remember I, I saw you. You were wearing like, were you wearing orange pants? Or was that I'm someone like, else? Like, oh, that was the custodian. <laughs> <laughs> Not her confusing me. I don't think I've ever worn orange pants. Like, no, ever. I think maybe we did say hi, but it was very like, like high brief. Bye. Like it yeah. was like very like we like I possibly didn't even know. You probably you know. didn't even know who I was. No, no, no. Because, like, because I met her, you guys. Yo te empecé a seguir when you were doing the watch this if you feel... If you're bored. If oh, you're yeah, bored. Yeah, yeah. Like if those if videos. You're sad or, or if you're sad or yeah, if you're yeah. depressed. Like she would upload videos on YouTube where she was literally mm -hmm. just doing her makeup. And I remember her titles would be like, watch this if you're bored. And I remember like just mm -hmm. clicking on it once because I was like, oh, I'm fucking bored. And <laughs> I watched her and I was like, oh my God, let me go ahead and follow her. Y después de esa ocasión, I've seen you a couple mm -hmm. other times at Beauty Bird Sigma. Have I seen you ever in Arizona? Because I know I've been to Arizona. I think one time you had texted me, right? You had texted yes, me when you were in going. Arizona. Yes. And I remember like at that time, we lived in like a really small apartment and I was like, I, I don't think I texted you back because I was like. No, she was like, no, I'm, I can't hang out. Because I, 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 no, I didn't know if he wanted, if he was, if you were texting me like, like so I could tell you like, oh, come stay. Yeah. 
a whole <laughs> like, mood. No, I was already out or there. Or like if you were like just wanted to hang no, out. No, or... I remember that time que fui, the first time que fui in Arizona, I, I, I knew that you and the Aguilars lived yeah. out there. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be there for four days. Um, But I texted you the day that, the yeah. second day I was there already. Because oh, I was out yeah, there for yeah, like yeah. a wrestling event. Um, And I was like, let me see if she wants to hang out. Y nunca me contestó. So I was like, okay, all right. Cuando tú they, vengas para acá, no know. te voy a invitar tampoco. But before that too, I remember when he had followed me, like... A long time ago, yeah. we had had a couple, like a couple conversations, like through like Instagram, yeah. you know. And I remember, I think you were like, "Oh, let's collab or let's do a video." And then I was like, "Yeah, I'm down." Never texted me back. Ah, she's like, so I was like, mm, Yeah. She's like, payback, like, bitch. Karma. Uh, <laughs> no, but it really was, you guys. Um, but recently, you came to my party, so mm-hmm. that was like the last time we yeah. seen each other. Yeah. Aquí estamos hoy, you guys. So ya que la conocieron un poquito más, we're gonna go ahead and go straight into the chisme, porque yo sé que ustedes viejas verduleras para <laughs> eso vinieron a ver el video. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to chisme and cocktails. So I know you drink. Because at my party, I was borracha, you guys. Like, I, was, no. I just remember, I was drunk as hell too. And I just remember at the end, like, tú fuiste una de las últimas de irte. Oh my God. And I just remember. Um, don't remind me. I was like, actually, don't remind them either. <laughs> no, I just remember you being drunk. And I went up to you, I went up to your man. And I was like, oh, is she okay? He's like, yeah, she's just drunk. And she was like, dude, it was too much. It so was now, a lot of drinking. The, no, yeah, like, I'm limiting myself three shots. And I'm done. But you know what it is? You always say three and then it turns into six. Six turns into yeah. nine. Nine turns into 12. I'm with me knowing my fours. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my threes, no? Irma today, you guys, nos está ayudando. So she's going to bring us some drinks. Para emborrachar aunque sea un poquito, you guys. We got to get a, a drink bit. in para que she can tell us the chisme. So we have some Trulies here. Not sponsored. Should be, though. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and cheers. cheers. Para arriba, para abajo, para el centro y para adentro. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. All over my lip. <laughs> I'm like lip changed to red now. <laughs> What's your favorite alcoholic drink? Um, I like. I don't drink that much. I mean, now, uh, especially my... now that I have, now that I have my do- my daughter, you know, so I can't drink as much. We used to drink a lot. Like when me and my boyfriend first met, like, like it was like vibes? every weekend. Like, like every it was starting weekend. to be concerning. That's where I'm at right now, you guys. I'm like. <laughs> When I first met you, I remember he said that he didn't drink. I didn't. Oh my God. You know what's funny? Everyone siempre mm-hmm. me dice eso because like now when I'm around a- anyone that I used to tell them that I used to not drink or smoke, they tell me, mira, quien te viera? <laughs> hace años no tomabas, but I'm like, saben que hace años tenía 17 años. I'm like, ya tengo yeah. 23. I mean, I've been doing this shit for a long time, so I feel mm-hmm. like, but you know what it was too? Before I used to blame me not drinking on my, me growing up with my dad being like an alcoholic. Uh-huh. And now I'm like, fuck. Tanto que me fijaba en él y me estoy convirtiendo en él. I'm like, like father, like son. So we're going to go ahead, you guys, and start the... Ch- the holiday season is among us, and you don't know what to get as a gift or a stocking stuffer? Don't worry. I got you with today's sponsor, Manscaped. Manscaped is a leader in men's below-the-waist grooming, and they have served more than 4 million men worldwide. I personally love and use Manscaped because they make me feel and look fresh. Not only do they have hair trimmers, but they also have products like the Hair Preserver, which is a deodorant for your balls, and the Ball Reviver, which is a ball toner to maximize your ball hygiene routine. Manscaped's formulations are all vegan, cruelty-free, dye-free, sulfate-free, and paraben-free, so you know their products are legit. The dads can't stop talking about us, the teens secretly buy this, and the women will love you for it. Ladies, if you don't know what to get your dad, your brother, or your friend, just remember that Manscaped makes the perfect gift. And to the boys listening, get it together and get Manscaped now. Make sure to hurry to their site to ensure these wild gifts show up before the holiday season, and while you're at it, get 20 percent off plus free shipping at manscaped.com that is spelled m-a-n-s-c-a-p-e-d.com with code noches that is spelled n-o-c-h-e and once again thank you to today's sponsor manscaped and let's get back to the video so you recently mentioned your uh-huh. mom um apenas siete meses so you're like a newly mom yeah so. how do you feel like your relationship and just your life has changed since you've become a mother so in like it's because like i feel two different ways about it like in a way i feel like my life did completely change like my life is so different now but also in a way it almost feels like the same i just have a new person you know like we're just adjusting to having a baby like we still do the same things like we're able to go out we're able to do stuff i mean i still do videos i just don't have as much time time to do a lot of things you know 
But yeah, our lives did completely change. Like now we have a baby and like before, like our dogs were the ones that were like yeah. our, our little, little babies. Yeah, we have two Frenchies. But now pobrecitos like- Mi caso, yeah. like, ah, we let them loose. Ah, they're on the run. I like the dogs. <laughs> You're like, what dogs? <laughs> I'm like, I give them like, away. People would be like, the dogs. I'd be like, no, that's my daughter. And now I have like- Your my, actual my daughter. My actual daughter, you know? Everyone loves being a parent. Well, from what I've heard, mucha gente yeah. say, oh, it's fun being a parent, pero ya cuando están más grandecitos, because, mm -hmm. you know, obviously, se pueden cuidar un poquito más solos yeah. and no requieren tanto cuidado. Do you feel like right now, since your baby is very young, do you feel like you're, like, in a state where you're like, fuck, like, I really can't do much yeah. porque tienes que estar con ella all the time? It, it does feel like that. Like, it's, like, I love being a mom. And I didn't, I, before, like, having a baby, I didn't think, like, I was ever gonna have kids. I didn't think I was gonna be a mom. Like I knew maybe eventually I would want one, but I did not think it would actually happen. Like we were the last people that people expected to get pregnant. Yeah, I didn't expect you to be pregnant. Everyone was so shocked. Especially and, and that's funny because I don't even know you like that. And I, when you mm -hmm. announced your pregnancy, I remember I was with Annette and she was like, did you see? And I'm like, see what? I was like, did you see when she's like, Lizette is pregnant and I was like, Lizette, Lizette, I even had to be like, Lizette, Lizette, like Arizona, Lizette. She's like, yeah, dude. And it was funny because te embarazaste seis meses o casi cinco meses mm -hmm. right after your freaking BBL. Right after getting a BBL. How was I got that? pregnant. So everyone was like shocked. Yeah, no, I'm like, girl, you just paid X amount of dollars. <laughs> yeah, boom. And also I have videos like right after getting my BBL because people would tell me, oh, you should have waited until, you should have waited until you had babies to get to get your BBL. And you're like, I'm not. And I was like, I'm never having kids. Like, and now people tell me like, we just saw a video where you said you didn't I want saw kids. I saw a TikTok in the in the comments. It was uh, it was something about the agarró el BBL and Daniel went straight Daniel could to not work. handle himself. He really couldn't. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, like un que lo miras, like how he couldn't that. handle the BBL. But you know what's funny though? Like I don't know. I don't know if it's a BBL thing because I've seen a lot of people, girls that have gotten mm -hmm. BBLs and they like snap back right away after having the baby. I've heard, I honestly feel like it did help me snap back, like having the baby all. Like when I got pregnant, I honestly wasn't really worried about how my body was gonna look after. Yeah. Like I kind of feel like- You're like, I'll just get another I one. I didn't, I didn't, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> I already booked it, I'm kidding. <laughs> She's like, coming tomorrow. I'm like, that's why I'm in LA. Yeah. No, I wasn't really worried about what my, what my body was gonna look like because I have no control over that, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I was like, if I get super big or if I gain a lot of weight, like I can't really, like change it, you know. I'm yeah. already pregnant. Like I can't, I can't not be pregnant. Like I, like, like what whatever, do? whatever yeah. my body's gonna look like after, I'm gonna have to just look like that, you know. Yeah. And I'm gonna do what I can to like look better, or whatever. But I honestly feel like the BBL did help me bounce back, and I was also like really sick during my whole pregnancy. I only gained 11 pounds. Damn. Literally I'm 11 like, pounds. I'm not even pregnant. That's how much I gained <laughs> the past three weeks. I'm like, no. Be as a side though. Do you feel like when you found out you were pregnant though, do you feel like a little bit in you like? Fuck, I just yeah. got a BBL. Obviously, not, you, you not know. Not really like, not the BBL. sad, but you're no, like. No, I was sad. I was sad. Like, obviously. <laughs> like, like, I love my daughter, you yeah. know, I do. I love her so much, but. When I, when I first found out I was pregnant, it wasn't like so much cause just of the BBL, but I was just like in shock. Like, I honestly think like we didn't believe yeah. believe it until like we would go, I would go to the ultrasounds and everything. And it sounds like bad, but like, I honestly think I was in shock for months. I think I didn't like really start to believe it until our gender reveal. That's when it started to sink in. Like, okay, we're going to be parents. And like a lot of people would tell, like, I would get a lot of comments saying like, oh, well, then why would you get pregnant if like you're not happy? Or a lot of people like would, t would talk shit to me because they would say that I was just always complaining about being pregnant. Like that's all I would get. Yeah. And so like, I feel like during my pregnancy, I honestly didn't really post a lot. I honestly think I posted like four or five YouTube videos the whole like pregnancy. pregnancy. Do you feel like because you were pregnant, obviously your hormones were crazy. Do you feel like shit would get to you even more? Um, because I feel like honestly, like I've been uh -huh. a, a follower of you for a while. Yeah. I feel like there was a time where you were getting a lot of hate. But like whatever you would do, you would get hate. But I feel mm -hmm. like when you became a mother, se te miraba menos, especially on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like because you got pregnant, you're like, you know what? I don't want to have to deal with the internet. So me voy a reservar más. No, like. I, I was just really sick. Oh, okay. Like I was so, like I feel like I was a zombie for nine months. Like I feel like I was like not really like, like here. Yeah. Like I was physically here, but I feel like I wasn't really here. Like my pregnancy went by so slow, but so fast. Like, like so slow for you, but so fast for everyone. It, right? I don't even know how to explain it. It was just like a crazy, crazy time. So during that time, I feel like 
I just kind of went MIA on social media. Like I would give them updates here and there. And then towards the end of my, like I posted like our birth, our labor, yeah. everything. But there was a lot like going, like looking back now, I wish I would have like posted more like, just like so a document that yeah. more, you know? And it's also good for memories because at the end of the day, you guys, not just because I'm on YouTube, I see my vlogs kind of like as a personal diary. Yeah. Like there's times I go back to like a vlog from a year ago and I'm like, I fucking forgot I did that. Mm -hmm. Does that ever happen to you? Yeah, like I'll look back at the videos when we just had, when we just had Sofia and I was like, oh my God, like she was so small. And then you're like, ya está así de grande. Yeah, like, she's so big now. And like, next year she's going to be walking and yeah. then it's like, it goes by so quick, it you does. guys. So it it's always so really quick. good to document stuff do you feel like okay so you've been together with daniel for how long um yeah almost five years yeah almost five years oh, okay i thought you'd be longer for some reason i feel like you were with him longer than me and my boyfriend you guys have been together for really long yeah time. we've been together for six yeah, almost five years. But you know what? Maybe it felt like that because I found you ya cuando ya estabas con él. Mm -hmm. And I had already been... I don't know. It just I just felt like it was longer. Do you feel like now that you guys are both parents, do you feel like that's like changed your guys' relationship? Not necessarily in a bad way or mm -hmm. just in any way yeah. in general? Um, I feel like we're the same. I feel like it has brought us closer. Like in a way, like I feel like... like I have like a lot more respect. Like yeah. our love has grown more because I've, I've now I see him as a dad, mm -hmm. which like I said, we were we didn't really expect to get pregnant. Or we didn't think we were gonna have kids for a long time. So I didn't know how he was gonna be as me. a dad. Yeah. I thought like he was gonna be very like, like he's very he's a very hands on dad. He yeah. helps like, out very a lot. Present. Like yeah, he's very there. Like he'll change her diapers, feeds her. Like yeah, like, he'll do more than me actually. Yeah, uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> actually I don't do shit. <laughs> so so like I honestly didn't think I thought I would be the one doing everything. everything. And he is a very good dad. Like he'll yeah. show her like and also like my boyfriend like he doesn't really show like his emotions like all crazy yeah. like that. Like he's not very lovey dovey. Like like you know how some couples yeah. are super like. He's not like that, so I didn't think he was gonna be like that with her, but he's so like good. You know with what's her. funny though, now that you mentioned that, it's funny because if that's the way you thought, because I thought very that too. Uh -huh. Like he doesn't, like online, he doesn't look very like lovey yeah, dovey. No. Like very like, como se dice, like, I don't know, like you, I feel like you said it so good. Like the way you thought, I feel like even the viewers thought that same yeah, way. Yeah, everyone thought like, we're gonna break up. I was like, he's yeah. gonna leave her. I'm like, yeah. she fucked up. Like, and I would, I would, I got DMs of like, when I was pregnant, I would get DMs like that, like, Oh, like Daniel's gonna leave you because you don't cook, you don't clean. And I, that's what I get hated up about. Is uh -huh. people say that I don't cook and I don't clean. I don't like do not nothing. like mommy and like wifey material. Yeah. How do you feel I'm about like, that? Bitch, I don't have a ring. No, like <laughs> I am like until he gets. But you know what's funny? I feel like los tiempos ya han cambiado. That like you don't need to be cooking. Like okay, this is me. I don't know about and, you, but like a lot of my family members and friends siempre me andan chingando. Like oh my god, Alan. Like why don't you like? Because my boyfriend has an yeah. everyday job mm -hmm. and I have a job too. But for some reason they don't take my job seriously. I'm like, I'm like all this. I, yeah, like, I have a show. I'm going to Netflix. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> no, but you know what? I, I'm sure it happens to you. Like, they, yeah. I feel like people think like, oh, no man, no sentamos on her ass, like mm -hmm. not doing anything. And a lot of my family members and friends are like, oh my God, why don't you like have dinner ready for when Demi gets home from work? I'm like, and I'm like, first of all, I don't know how to cook and I'm not going to learn how to cook just for him. <laughs> and second of all, it's like, I'm busy too. Well, for me, like, the, well, honestly, it, that's what would piss me off. It's like when people would say like, like, oh, like, I don't do anything for him. Like, that did piss me off. I'm or, like, like, well, it, he can do it himself. It, yeah, he can. First of all, really? he can. Like, like, I feel like it's because gente está pensando en el ayer. Yeah, they think so much about like the old times. Like, we're not in those times anymore. Like, I'm like, girl, just because you te tocó alguien que piensa así doesn't mean que a todo yeah, le tocan just así. Cause, just because your husbands make you, like, no yeah. offense to no one, but like, just because no, no, their no. husbands make them. It's not even them. offense. It's, it's like real talk. Like, I see it that way. Like, when people tell me that shit, I get so, like, offended because oh, it's too. like, like, okay, I'm not saying never cook for them. Tampoco. You know what I mean? But I'm saying, like, it's not your responsibility yeah, it's not. to be their mom. It, yeah, it's like, I don't... Like, I don't want to be his mom, but it would piss me off because I do do those things. I'm like, bitch, I do but cook and I do clean, it. but like, yeah. people don't see it. And they would say that like, oh, poor Dano, pobrecito, like, he's working 12 hour shifts and, and you can't even fucking have a hot meal for him. And now that we had our daughter, that mm -hmm. he hasn't gone back to work yet, people would like, would say, oh, when is Dano going back to work? He's so lazy. Like, when is he going back to work? But He's before, like, I'm like, que no pobrecito, like. <laughs> I'm like, a ver, si no se mal por él. Le give him a break. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, it's really funny that you mentioned that because I think people tend, like, like we were saying earlier, I feel like people 
think that we don't do mm -hmm. shit all day. And I will say this. I will say this 100%. I feel like con nuestro trabajo que nosotros tenemos of being influencers, we kind of, yes, we work hard too, but I, no me voy a comparar con alguien that does construction. But sometimes obviously. we don't do shit. Yeah, I'm like, sometimes we really don't. But sometimes it's like, come on, like. Yeah. Even when I have tried cooking for daddy, like, he bitches. So I'm like, okay, so no te gusta como cocina, entonces, we're at McDonald's it is. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But I feel like, at the end of the day, I feel like people just love to hate. How yeah. do you feel like you cope with hate, especially now being a mom? The way you coped with hate before is different than the way you cope with it now. You know what? I feel like ever since becoming a mom, I feel like I don't have as much hate. Mm. And that's what I would tell Dana before. Like, I feel like moms and, and yeah, like moms like get so much respect and yeah, like we, you, you, we do deserve it. But like before, like I was like, if I had kids, people wouldn't tell me that, you know? Yeah. But now that I'm a mom, I already know later on people are going to say like, oh, do you get just mommy shamed kid. a lot or no? Sometimes, not, not How do you feel about mommy shaming? Um, I just feel like people, like, I feel like I'm gonna do what I want with my baby or with my kids and like people could do what they want with their kids. Yeah. And I do show a lot of like, like my parenting and I show a lot of Sophia, but I know like, I know like, like now I feel like I'm not gonna be showing as much because I do get some mommy hate or like everyone's always just gonna have their opinions. Yeah. I was on live last time and a lot of people were asking us about like, um, we don't have drama with our family or anything, yeah. but like my mom was like, like kind of like doing the most a little bit. I don't know how to like say it without She's like, saying my it. Mom just my mom just estaba mom. pasando oh, like okay, okay. la línea a little bit with Sofia. And so like I was talking about that and people were like, oh my God, it's so sad that you don't let her grandparents show her love or. Yeah. I feel like I'm not really making sense, but. No, 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 I feel like what you mean, because I feel like a lot of people online, you know what it is to, oh my God, like not even going towards your uh -huh. mom because I didn't even know about that. I feel like a lot of people, especially parents of like tus papas, when you have a kid, they want you to que crees a tu niña como ellos yeah. te criaron a ti. But sometimes it's like, okay, like my parents raised me well, but. There's stuff, there's stuff I would change about I'm the like, way I'm like, that's why we're me. traumatized? Yeah, no, like, there's like a hundred percent things that you as a parent, now you're like, okay, like, I didn't like how my parents did yeah. this. Let me do it better. Or not even like, yeah, that, that, that's true too, but not even that, like, but just, there's a lot of new things that our parents didn't do. Like, sí. just like things like the way I feed her. Yeah. Or like, um. O que no existían en sus tiempos. Yeah, que, yeah, que no existían. Like, my mom's just like, this morning, my mom's like, no le has dado sopita maruchana, Sofía? And we're like, <laughs> I'm like, no, she got breast I'm like, milk. This, I'm like, this has like so much salt. Yeah. No, I feel like it's funny because I see it this way. The only difference uh -huh. with you being a mom versus a mom watching at home is that your life is being documented. Yeah. I'm sure like a lot of moms at home like do shit that obviously if we were to see it, we'd be like, mm -hmm. We, they, they would get judged said, for it. Yeah. Nothing is recording yeah. that. But I feel like at the end of the day, like you said, you're gonna raise your daughter como the tú way that, Yeah, the way that we want. And I feel like unless like you see that a baby or a kid is like literally actually being abused, yeah. I yes. feel like you really don't have a say in like what their parents do with them, you know? Exactly. Like, especially if the baby's like, especially if the baby's well taken care of, like they're no fed, they're, they're yes. loved, yeah. Do you feel like as parents, because I feel like I I, um, I always get this question a lot. Well, not me, but like mm -hmm. I always ask actually this question a lot to a lot of my friends that have kids. Do you feel like there's stuff now as parents that you and Daniel don't agree on, like parenting wise? Um, No, for the most part we agree, but going back to the whole family thing, when we had just had her, honestly, yeah, it was like kind of hard adjusting because like we both have Mexican families. And I mean, we're Mexican. We, we both and have, even Mexican parents raise their kids way differently. We both have Mexican families and, and it was hard like kind of setting boundaries with them because no entendían. Like, yeah. And then Daniel, like, I feel like guys are always like more mama boys. hard to tell their moms or their parents anything. And for me, like, I would straight up just tell my family, like, no, like, not this. No way I say like, so, no way I say just like simple things like when she, when he, we had just brought her home from the hospital and we wanted everyone to wash their hands, dude, oh my God. Like it was, it was a struggle, yeah. It, it was, was like, hard. Ay, que delicada está haciendo. So like at first, like we, we did honestly argue a little bit about that, not because he didn't agree. So that's what would piss me off is that he agreed. He felt the same way, Yeah. but, but he, he had a hard time up. telling people. Like, and so like, like And you know what's so funny? It's always the men, yeah. especially the mama boys. Is I'm he a like, mommy's boy? A little like bit. A I'm like, boy. I'm, huevo and I'm like, yeah, just speak up. And it's really, it's like that. Cause I, I, I've had a lot of friends get the sus babies and it's like the, the man will be like, yeah, yeah, I don't want them doing this. But it's like, well then speak up. 
I'm like, say something, uh-huh. but they don't, and they let you look like the bad guy. Yeah, because my suegros are really like sweet. They're nice. They're they're really really sweet. Yeah. We love them. But I feel like Danny would make it weird because he wouldn't say anything. It would just make and it things would look weird. Like but it was we're just everything's you? good now. Yeah, it would look like it was, and that's what I would explain to him. I'm like, babe, like you can't like. Like, you can't make it seem like it's just me because everyone's going to think that I'm just a delicada. Like, we need to, like, basically, like, people need to see that we're on the same page or they're not yeah. going to take us serious. And I feel like it's not even being a mommy's boy, you guys, but I feel like that's same way with my boyfriend. Like, we don't even have kids, you guys. But, like, you know, always, entre familia, like, we may love our families, but, like, there's stuff that we don't there's agree with. There's always going to be a yeah. little bit of tea, so cheese, like, Yeah, so when me and my boyfriend were, like, entre nosotros, we'll be like, oh, my God, I didn't like, like, the way they said this or the uh-huh. way they did that. Speak up. My boyfriend won't speak up, so then it, I speak up, and it looks like I'm the bad guy. And it looks bad. Yes. I feel and like. And I'm like, well, your son thinks that too. Mm-hmm. But but on all these, like, I feel like it's my responsibility to tell my family, and it's their responsibility yes, to tell, tell theirs, right? Because if not, it looks the, bad. Yeah. Then it yeah. looks like, oh, it. It looks rude. It looks yes. bad. Like, I don't know. I just think it's really funny because I feel like tú que tienes tu bebé y yo que no tengo. I feel like everyone goes to that, especially everyone, when. Yeah. I feel like that is algo super normal, especialmente cuando dos personas tratan de juntar a las familias. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's what's hard, too, is like juntando dos familias because I can't they're just do that. so different. I like, cannot do that, you guys. And I get shit about that all the time. Like, oh, my God, Alan, like, why don't your family hangs around with Danny? Yeah. The only times our families like se juntan is for Christmas and New Year's. Mm-hmm. And other than that, we do our separate vacations, we do our separate dinners. But because I'm the type of person that I like giving my full attention to like yeah. one person. So like if that's the case, when it's Christmas and New Year's, it's so hard to me to like attended everybody mm-hmm. and make everyone laugh and entertain everyone. So I feel like it's a thing that it's like common. It's, it's hard too for the holidays going to two separate places. Yes. It's, it's overwhelming. Like, yeah, it Especially is. Especially when you lot. have to eat doble, you guys. I'm like, uh, Yeah. And then you can't like Usually we'll go to like my family first or his Mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, you're really hungry for the first meal, but then for the second meal, you're like, ya no tengo tanta hambre. And then you're like, Mm -hmm. but tengo que comer porque si no van a pensar que I'm being rude. You know what I mean? I'm like, so I guess I have to gain weight. (laughs) I guess I'll take one for the team. You didn't even want to eat. Yeah, no, I don't. Like there's times where like the second meal, I'm like, but comes no más mm-hmm. por comer. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. So I feel like you've been on YouTube and on social media. Ya por un poco tiempo. I feel like mm-hmm. I feel I want to say we kind of might have the same time being on social media. I started when I was like, it's because I would do it. I wouldn't really. T- I didn't take it serious at first. Uh-huh. I started doing it when I was like 15. ¿Y cuántos años tienes ya? But when I was 15, I, I would do it on and off. Because I would mm. get discouraged because I had like two subscribers, you know? Ah, you're like, well, obviously. <laughs> and like... everyone, and ba- back then, it was not a thing. Like YouTube, yeah. social media was, now everyone does it and it's a normal thing. Everyone, li- everyone yeah, is everyone an influencer. Everyone wants to be a YouTuber now. Everyone is an influencer. Yes. Everywhere you go, you, you're going to see an influencer. But before, it wasn't really a thing. So it was kind of embarrassing and it was like a weird thing. And when I started doing it, or when I tried, when I started trying to do it i was still in high school and i remember people would be like oh is that then her little video ah, like, even, ah, even, my, even my family like even my family like <laughs> when, the, when i started doing youtube i didn't have a door in my room right huh? and literally i remember the first video that i ever filmed i got this like lampara that my dad had for work Aww. and my my sister someone was holding it up for me and i had a little ipod and i was doing it and i my eyes were so red because i had just finished crying and i was screaming because everyone my whole family was passing by because i didn't have a door oh. and they were like like, they were like, hey guys, hi guys. So they would make fun of you. Yeah, and I was Aww. like, shut up. How you don't cry, you're like, was me now or Yeah, but at first I didn't take it so serious because it wasn't a thing. How and old then, are you now? Uh, 22. 22. Okay, so you're only, oh, so I think if anything, you've been doing it a little bit longer than me. Because yeah. I started doing this también in high school, a los yeah. 17 años. But like, like you were saying, I didn't take it serious yeah. until I turned maybe 18. And I'm like, okay, it's either I go full force with this mm-hmm. or me pongo a trabajar. You and know at, what I mean? at 18, like, did, w- did you have a following? Or like, yeah, were you barely? at 18. So it was kind of weird for me because uh-huh. um, for me, it was always very, that's how I came out of the closet yeah. to like everyone online. Because no, everyone kind of thought I was gay, but like no one, nunca Knew. les decía yeah. like, oh, si sí soy. So I just started posting myself with makeup, but just for my friends. Yeah. And back in the day, Huda Beauty and um, Huda Beauty, what was the other one? Wake Up and Makeup. You remember those? I don't know who Wake Up and Makeup is, but I know who Huda Beauty is. Like the accounts? Yeah. You, you remember Wake Up and Makeup? No. Then I might have been doing it longer than her, you guys, because 
especially in the beauty space, wake up and makeup was like a big reposting page. So they would repost me and then out of nowhere, like, I you got like a hundred followers, like a hundred thousand followers. So yes, I was able to live off of it once I was turned 18, but I didn't think it got, it didn't get serious and lucrative until like when I was like 20, 21. Well, yeah, so for me, when I was 15, I didn't have any, and then when I was 17, uh -huh. like that's when I started like, like gaining a following. And then ever since then, it's kind of when I've taken So you never had a real job? No, I did. Well, not, not real, but because this I is did. a real job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're all like, people think this is a real <laughs> job. I know, but I know, but like, a real job. No, but like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, no, I did. And that's what a lot of people, like a lot of my viewers remember me from is because I, I would vlog before when I, I, I did makeup, but I started getting into vlogging. Uh -huh. And then my vlogs is what really put me out there. And before when I, I used to work at Subway for a while, I worked there for like a year. And as soon as I turned 15, I went and I got a job. Oh, damn. Like this day I turned 15, I went and I did an interview and I got a job. And oh. then ever since then, I started working and paying for all my stuff, you know? And then um, I worked there for like a year and then I did, I didn't really take YouTube serious at that time. I would yeah. I would do it here and there, but I had Especially a camera. Especially because I feel like you also like had a job, so you're like, yeah. I don't need extra I was, I was working yeah. literally full time, like while doing, while I was still in high school and I graduated a year early. So I would oh, do damn. like, I, I did, um I, I, I got sent to like this like special school. Like, you oh, know the like kids that, school? you know the kids yeah. that act bad? I didn't act like bad. That continuation school. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So then that like, because of that, I was able to finish a year early because it was on my time. So um, then I was yeah. doing school and I was working at Subway and then we moved. And then that's when I started doing vlogs. That's when my channel started to gain subscribers. And then I was working at Jimmy John's and at Peter Piper. What what moment did you be like, you know what? I feel like this can be a legit, a legit job and you quit your job. What was the moment that like set that off for you? Um... Well, actually, I kind of got fired. Uh, she's like, actually, I was stealing Subway sandwiches. So, <laughs> no, no, because I was vlogging and I, oh. I was, I was vlogging and I had vlogged um, one of the one of my coworkers and oh. we didn't like him. And before in my vlogs, literally, I did not give a fuck. Like, I would literally say whatever I wanted. Literally, I would be like, why is this fijita in my way? Like. Or, I, I feel like, like it was different times too. And yeah, and people would like live for like, it. Yeah, like I was, I was like 16, 17, and I would literally talk shit about everyone. Like not like my yeah, friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like I know what my, you mean. I like, would tell them all of my family drama, all of my work drama. I'd be like, oh my god, my parents did this to me, and la la. And people were living for it. But now, like you kind of gotta watch what you say yes. because la gente lo toma muy en serio. I feel like people also like. La gente lo toma como que si es su vida la que tú estás hablando about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, you shouldn't talk about that. And I feel like that same way too. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like is now that you've been on social media so long and I feel like, you know, as we're, as we are on social media, I feel like there's times where we're like, you know what? I'm not even going to address that. Like, que la gente piense lo que piense. Mm -hmm. What are misconceptions about you that people think and just go with it? Um, I feel like some people just like, I'll get the thing like that people say that they think like I'm a sangrona or like that, like I'm a bitch, but like everyone that has ever met me yeah. in person, like I'll, I'm like, I'll always take pictures. I'm not famous or anything, but like when people ask me to take a picture, like I'm all, like, I'll always take pictures with them or I always say hi to I everyone. Like like, nice. I feel like I'm very friendly in person person like when you meet me like I'm very friendly yeah. but a lot of people online think like I'm a sangrona or like you know what it is too I feel like that happens a lot with pretty girls because you're a very pretty girl thank you and I feel like a lot of people like I will say this que le duela el que le duela que le, que le arde el que le arde <laughs> I feel like a lot of people cuando se sienten intimidados when they feel intimidated yeah. by someone else they're like She's a bitch. She's mm -hmm. stuck up. And I'm like, no, you're just ugly. And, <laughs> no, but it's just like, it all has to do with yeah. your confidence because that has never happened to me. Like the only thing, like, I mean, not nine uh -huh. sangrona, sangrona or anything, but all I get, it's like, oh, he's fat. He's annoying. That's it. But I feel like it happens a lot with the pretty girls. Cause I've heard that about that's, a lot of the pretty that's girls. That's what I get is that I'm a sangrona or that, or that I, que me creo mucho, that I think I'm all that. Yeah. And I really don't like, she's like, well, uh, no, tú te vas a creer lo que eres. Yeah. Si la gente ya piensa que it's too much, entonces ellos se sienten menos. Because that's what I think about the whole cooking and cleaning and any type of hate that I ever get, I feel like it goes back to them. Whoever puts the hate, yeah. it's like, because they, they're, they're, they're unhappy. Yeah. And it's like, okay, just because a ti te hacen hacer todo eso doesn't mean que también yeah. mi esposo. I mean, does, has it ever gotten to the point where Daniel has been like, babe like start cooking. no no because i i do i don't cook and before <coughs> before too when i would get that we would we did eat out a lot but because we wanted to like yeah. we wanted to and then um i do cook i do clean and stuff the only time that it kind of got like out of hand or whatever 
And that's when people started like really like dude like oh my god it was bad like they were eating my ass up like Mood? I remember I was crying for like two days because I was like they don't even know me like yeah it was because Daniel did a prank on me and like he told like in the prank he told me hey you need to clean up the this and you need to do this and you need to do was it and the I was one like where, was it yeah, that yeah, video yeah, yeah, yes, like, yes. yes. is it the one where Salvavida was in the back. <laughs> the floaty, there was like a floaty there for like a week. <laughs> Dude, when we, were, when we were packing to come here, I saw the fucking floaty in like my little it's store. There, I was right? like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> You're like, you fucking caused this. I was like, because of you. But you know what it's funny? Really like sometimes like, a veces cuando subes un video, no piensas that it's that bad or you don't feel yeah. like people are going to react a you certain way. You know what? Way. The floaty was not that bad. We had just gone swimming. Like that's why it was She's there. Like, we had just gone swimming Our- a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> Our apartment was so small like we yeah. didn't have nowhere to put it so that's why it was there i did like overreact because like dude it was just so bad i did do the most like i already know but, but it's also like something is, like <laughs> did you know they were you were being recorded or no no uh, she's like that's just how i am i'm just kidding <laughs> no, no, no no but and and also like i said daniel never talks to me like that or tells me uh, like so hey dude so it was like what the hell like Like you were like, standing up for yourself. I was just in shock because I was like, who does he think like, he why is? Are you being a like he never tells me. Like he is very like easygoing. Like that's why we work so well because he's very easygoing. He gives me like a lot of freedom. Um, like when I did go out like a like a little bit ago, like after I had Sophia, I went out maybe like four months ago, and someone did tell me like something like, oh, like why are you out? You're mm-hmm. your mom or like why are you, you like, at the I club? I can have fun. Or, like pobrecito Daniel, he's taking care of her, but I'm like he's her dad, and I take care of her too when he goes yeah. places, you know. But he's very easygoing, and that's why I was in shock when he said that. I was like, what the hell? But that's that's. Basically. And you know what's funny? Like I kind of like you haven't done a prank in a while. No. And I honestly lived for your pranks. I remember I think I posted them on my stories like once or twice. Which was that one prank that I, I literally hit you up about? Ugh. Was it the, I want to have a baby prank? Maybe. It was so It old, was though. so long ago, you guys. Yo me acuerdo hace como dos, tres años. <laughs> and I was like, ah. We used to like, do pranks like all the time. Lot. That's what we yeah. would do, pranks. Yeah. But it's it's hard to do pranks like 24-7, you know, then without becomes, knowing. Because like, okay, this bitch is fucking with me. Yeah. You. All right, you guys. So that is it for the chisme que les tenemos hoy. We're going to go ahead and move on to something a little bit more fun. Porque como que tanto chisme, como que también cansa uno. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you guys... You know, if you guys want to know more cheese, may head over to her channel. So we're going to go ahead and move over to the Wheel of Pendejadas. All right, you guys. So, como pueden ver, Lizette just spun the wheel and she got wild. So, a ver, what did you get? The alphabet game. All right, you guys. So, como pueden ver, Lizette got the alphabet game. And this is the second time we've gotten this one. But low-key, Lulu, I love you, but yours was a fail. So, vamos a intentarlo otra vez. So, if you, do you know how to play it? A little bit, yeah. So for the viewers at home that don't know how to play it, we're going to be getting a category from production, whether it's like food, drinks, celebrities, influencers, lo que a ellos se le ocurran. And me and Lizette have to go be... Man, me and Lizette have to go back and forth. And I, if I get the letter A, I have to come up with whatever category is, something that starts with the A, B, C, D, and so on and so forth. So the category is food. A... Apple. Uh, B, burgers. C, cat. Oh, mood. No, 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 no. <laughs> Cotton candy. I, you guys, <laughs> ah, I cat. Just call it, oh, Fucking cat. cat. I'm like, you can eat a cat. I'm like, <laughs> right? Oh, my God. And, wait, let's do that one again, you guys. Because, like, cat honestly, I'm a, I'll, I'll be, be like, animal abuse. I'm like, right? Se comen, verdad? Okay, so, fuck it. I'll give it to her. So, the voy a dar a ella. But I'm going to catch up, you guys. So, now you're going to start first. Give us okay. another one. Animals. A, um, a rat. <laughs> <laughs> a, alpaca. B, bobcat. C, cat. D, dinosaur. E, oh. E, elephant. F, flying fish. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G, gorilla. H, horse. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, <laughs> well, I, I, iguana. What's up, I, I, G? Go. Why am I thinking H? H? No, I said horse already. It's G. I'm like, maybe I should go back to school. A, B, C, D, F, G, H. Oh, J? Wait, so me comí la J. Oh, so I said wrong. Okay, so J is my, okay. Uh, J, Jiggly. Jiggly? I'm like, jiggly. I'm like me. I'm like, I'm Jiggly. <laughs> All right, you guys. So the last one is the winning one. And the category is brand. Okay, I'm going to start. Ready? Adidas. 
Y, um, ¡Fuck! Why do I suck? I warn you guys, ya le dimos muchas chances yeah, que ya gané no, yo. I'm we like, failed again, we failed. I'm like, she's a failure. I'm like, I need to find an influencer que en verdad pueda hacer este challenge porque la segunda, maybe the third's a charm, you guys. So, third's a charm. All right, you guys, so ya que jugamos ese jueguecito, we're getting to the end of today's episode. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Lizeth para que ella nos diga what is next for Lizeth Ramirez. Hopefully, hopefully in 2022, we have some stuff coming out and I want to just get back on YouTube being more consistent. All right, you guys. So with that being said, we are approaching the end of today's episode. Don't forget to go ahead and follow Lizette on our social medias, which will be linked down below. And also don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias so you guys won't miss any future episodes. And with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you for having me. And thank you guys so much for listening. And we'll see you guys in next week's episode. Bye, Bye. guys. Okay, so...